Welcome to Viral Recaps. Today I'm going to explain a sci-fi action movie called Warriors of Future from 2022. Spoilers incoming. Let's get right into it. The movie begins with a narration of what a bad place the world turned into a few years into the future. In the following first scene, a man shows his daughter our Earth and how beautiful it used to be before the apocalypse. The narrator then continues telling the chain of events that turned the Earth into an inhabitable place. He says technological advancement and industrial overdevelopment were one of the few reasons. Many wars broke out and natural disasters ravaged the globe, releasing high levels of toxins into the air. The governments around the world started building Skynet, which is force fields used to protect their cities and countries from the toxins already saturated in the air. While the Skynets were being built, a giant meteorite crashed into the city and released a very toxic alien plant named Pandora. It thrives on massive amounts of water and could grow several hundred feet into the air. Within minutes of its landing, it already covered many buildings and structures in the city, destroying everything in its path. One hot afternoon, two military brothers in arms, Tyler and Johnson Chang, get into a discussion about their headquarters bringing in robots to fight against Pandora. The discussion quickly transitions into a friendly chat which is interrupted when Colonel Tam arrives and they escort her to the war room for a briefing. Colonel Tam briefs the team about updates on Pandora. She mentions about two rainstorms coming to Pandora's location in a few days' time and says that if both storms hit Pandora, it'll spread so rapidly across the city that it'll be impossible to stop it. Their plan is to alter its growth by using growth-inhibiting bullets they call gene bullets. However, she also mentions that they all have to get to the giant plant before the second storm or else it'll be too late. The doctor who created the bullets explains how they work and says they can use it to purify the air if they complete their mission on time. Major General Sean Lee, the inventor of Skynet, is unhappy with Colonel Tam's plans to destroy Pandora. However, Tam tells him her orders are from above and she would do anything to make sure they're completed. She also tells the team that in case they fail, she has a plan B which includes sending bombers to Sector B-16, Pandora's location, and bombing Pandora out of existence. Johnson asks about their evacuation plans for the civilians living there, but Tam says the lives of the 160,000 citizens are much smaller compared to the 5.6 million citizens that'll be saved when Plan B is activated. General Sean then inputs the codes to the robots deployed to B-16 and commences the operation. Johnson and Colonel Tam brief the team on the combat procedure and hurry to get started. Tyler stops her in her words and challenges her on her indifference to the lives of the soldiers who are putting themselves at risk to stop Pandora from growing. Tam tells her they don't matter and that the mission is the only thing that matters. Johnson breaks off the argument and tells his people that they have to succeed no matter what. Tyler and the rest of the soldiers gear up immediately and get into the ACU. Minutes after the briefing, they're already in the air. At B-16's temporary settlement area, a ruffian named Taryn Yao finds out about the mission and has a flashback to the time when he was with Johnson's military team. Apparently, Taryn was ousted from the team because he disobeyed a direct order. Eventually, the team gets to Pandora and successfully fires the gene bullets at Pandora. The plant reacts violently to the strikes and prepares to retaliate. Lincoln and his team maneuver their way around Pandora's branches to escape the deadly plant. However, Pandora fights the ACUs and sends all of them crashing down, except Tyler's, who manages to crash land on the streets. Then, Tam immediately instructs her team to drop the robots down to the ground so they can carry on with the mission. Unfortunately, for a yet unknown reason, someone hacks one of the robots and attacks the soldiers instead. The explosion takes down the only ACU carrier remaining. Tyler wakes up in the plane almost immediately after it crashes and wakes Connor. He finds out Lincoln seriously injured and they carry him outside before the ACU blows up. Now out on the streets, Connor finds out he's lost the signal to the control team so they walk to the nearest hospital to take care of Lincoln. Back in the command center, Tam almost executes Plan B, but Johnson tells her there's still time till the next storm and he asks her to allow him into B-16 so he could help his men and inject the gene bullet into Pandora's pistol. Tam reconsiders and lets him into the battlefield. 
Tyler and Connor carry Lincoln to a room in the abandoned hospital. Tyler leaves them to search the hospital for any useful equipment to treat his friend's wounds. Meanwhile, Johnson arrives at the temporary residential site on B-16 to ask for Taryn's help to rescue the team. Taryn reluctantly accepts the job and they head over to the hospital. While searching for injections, Tyler notices something following him. Turns out alien cockroach-like creatures were roaming around the hospital and were out to say hello to their new visitors. In the meantime, one of the alien roaches attacks Lincoln and devours him completely. A scared Connor tries re-establishing a connection, but unsuccessfully. He then runs and hides in the vents. Tyler's once again attacked by one of the roaches. He manages to take it out and goes back to check on Connor and Lincoln. Somewhere around the hospital, one of the creatures searches for a little girl. Thankfully, Tyler kills it just before it reaches her. More of them come to attack, but Johnson appears in time and takes them out. After that, they go back to find Connor who's still hiding in the vent. They ask him for Lincoln, but he replies he's dead. Meanwhile, Taryn finally gathers courage and goes outside the truck to help. The team keeps shooting its way forward searching for an exit. Taryn guides them on the right path to a wall and he blows a hole in it, allowing them to exit safely. Back at the command center, Major Sean orders Colonel Tam to begin Plan B. Just at that moment, the team manages to re-establish connection. Tam then tells Sean she won't put Plan B into action yet and gives Johnson and his boys two hours to get the gene bullets into Pandora's pistol. Connor's girlfriend also warns him that the robot was hacked and someone sabotaged the mission. She tells him to find the robot's head and check his memory. Now, they go back to where the transport plane crashed to retrieve some of the gene bullets. They have to succeed at all costs before the second storm emits. Taryn fusses a bit about going back to the same spot where all of the soldiers were killed but drives there anyway. They find the plane crashed into a building that's about to collapse. Johnson and Connor go inside anyways while Tyler stays behind to watch over the girl. She reminds him of his daughter Sissy, who has cancer. He promises the kid he's never going to abandon her. Meanwhile, Johnson and Connor locate the bullet box 50 meters above the ground. While trying to get there, Johnson's suit malfunctions and almost costs him his life. However, Tyler arrives just in time to save him. When they reach the location, they see the gene bullet in a minibus. They have to get it quickly, as the building might collapse. Johnson holds Tyler with the help of a rope and he manages to get it just in time. On their way back to Connor, they're once again attacked by the alien creatures. Apparently, Taryn finally let go of his fear to die and joins them to help. The team manages to exit the building just before it collapses. When they get back to the truck, Connor looks through the robot's memory and sees that Major Sean was the one who sabotaged the mission. He did this because he dedicated his life to the Skynet system and he can't let go of it. The team then calls the Major and accuses him of his actions. He doesn't even bother denying their claims and says their mission would ruin the project of his life if completed and he won't let that happen. The Major then cuts their transport vehicle's connection to the command center and sends all remaining robots to terminate them. Johnson and Tyler suit up and prepare for battle as they drive towards Pandora's pistol. A few seconds later, they see the first robot, named Timora, approaching. Taryn does everything he can to lose him, but Timora keeps finding ways to catch up. Both parties exchange fire, and just when they manage to destroy it, a humanoid pair of robots start to split open the roof of the truck. They eventually manage to break into the vehicle, but end up being destroyed. After taking care of them, they face yet another problem as a missile is launched onto the bridge they're driving on. This causes it to split in half and they barely manage to land on the other side. Taryn tries to drive away, but another Timora tries to pull them down. Johnson then sacrifices himself to make the robot let go of the truck. Meanwhile, the scientists at the command center report rain clouds are forming, indicating the second storm will erupt at any minute. Colonel Tam immediately asks them to do a final scan for Johnson's team before they carry on with Plan B. Lucy's not about to let her boyfriend die, so she gets up and tells the colonel some facts about the signal interruption from the robots earlier. Together, they also figure out it was the Major. Back at B-16, the team finally arrives at the location. 
Tyler and Terran prepare for a fight as they have to take down yet another Timora before HQ activates Plan B. Tyler keeps the robot distracted while Terran positions himself to destroy it with a Mega Blaster. He manages to get on top of Timora and destroys the signal jammer. Almost immediately, the command center gets their signal back. Colonel Tam gets to Major Sean and tells him to cancel all orders he's given the robots immediately. Sean keeps a straight face and says that the team doesn't have enough time to complete the mission and they'll soon be forced to put Plan B into action. Meanwhile, Connor places an electronic mini-rig on the ground and rushes out of sight to find shelter. The machine creates a gigantic hole leading directly to Pandora's pistol. Tyler's suit's battery is almost drained and he nearly gets beaten to death, but the robots find Pansy's hideout spot and bomb it. This causes him to go full Terminator mode and he snaps the robot's head off. Then he gets Terran's blaster and destroys all of them. As it already starts to rain, we see the bombers appearing in sight. Just when all hope seems lost, Johnson appears with Pansy. Turns out that somehow he survived and even managed to save the child. He then calls the HQ and tells them to suspend the bombing operation as they're going down to the pistol right now. Moments later, the rain intensifies and Pandora grows exponentially. Johnson enters Pandora's pistol and finds the nests where the roaches are bred. He throws the gene bullet right into Pandora's heart and stops its growth. Finally, everyone at the HQ lets out a sigh of huge relief. Meanwhile, Sean Lee decides to take his own life now that Skynet is gone. In the final moments of the movie, a week later Tyler and Taryn are seen washing their truck and they talk about the huge success of their mission. In the post credit scene, Johnson and Tyler go on their next mission to the moon, giving us hints for a duology. Hey, if you enjoyed this recap, please consider subscribing and leaving a like as it helps the channel a lot. Thanks for watching and take care.